Greetings, Bobby W6IW in here. We're here to talk about the Radio Oddity GM30 Plus GMRS radio. Radio Oddity did send me this radio and it actually inspired me to get my GMRS license. That's correct. Uh, I'm a licensed ham operator and now I'm a licensed GMRS operator. Uh, I did like this radio and some of its features and it kind of sparked me. Also, I have family that doesn't have time and to get their ham license. They don't really want to do it. So I thought maybe if I got my GMRS license because it can be shared with the whole family, uh, maybe they could play with these radios and that will someday inspire them to get their ham radio license. Anyways, let's take a look at this thing close up. Let's take a closer look at the Radio Oddity GM30 Plus GMRS radio. One thing I did like about this is the menus are a lot easier to understand. Uh, they're they're kind of simplified. So yeah, if you look in here, it starts with bank, scan, radio settings, GNSS, which is your GPS settings, program channel. So for example, if you wanted to program a channel, all this, the necessary settings are under that subcategory for programming a channel. You don't have to go through all of the settings. So if you wanted your GPS settings, those are in their own subcategory. You wanted only your radio settings, and those you'll find under here, which I find it's a lot more simpler than going through the all 52 or whatever menus at once. I thought that was cool. Oh, look, there's a pogger beep on this radio. It does have the AM airband receive, as you can see. It is a GMRS radio. Uh, this radio here actually did inspire me to get my GMRS license. I am now a GMRS and ham radio license operator. Let's see if I can make a contact on this thing. Did someone say GPS? All right, if you go down and press menu, and then you go to where it says GNSS, don't ask me what that stands for, uh, and then select the first one and you turn your GPS on, which mine already is on. Once that is complete, if you hold the PT or the P2 button down, press and hold, and then you'll be able to access uh, your GPS. Let's see if I can make a GMRS radio contact. I've yet to do it. I, I just got my license the other day and I finally got some repeaters programmed. Not really sure how to talk on their repeaters, but let's give it a shot. WSEP414, Bobby and Renio, new radio. Radio check, please. Okay, but it's, it's, there's a lot of static in the room here, so. All right, I don't know what, let's go outside and try this. All right, let me try that one more time outside. Uh, uh, this is Bobby again. How copy? Uh, that is perfect. That's a, a lot better. Very cool. You're my uh, actually very first GMRS radio contact. I'm a ham. I just got my uh, GMRS license the other day and I was doing a little demonstration. I hope you don't mind being on YouTube. <laughs> oh, I don't mind. Very cool. I just made my first GMRS radio contact. Uh, there's a few repeaters uh, in this area. I recommend if you're interested and you don't already know to go to mygmrs.com. If you have your license, you can open up an account there and it will show you where the repeaters are and tell you the tones for them. Or if they're private, you can request the tones. Or you can just search for them for one, with one of these radios like I did. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at some of the specs and features on this radio. Uh, it has a 2,500 milliamp battery. Uh, it has 1,000 channels, it claims, and 10 banks. It's actually uh, more like 970-something channels because it already has some uh, pre-programmed stuff in here for weather, uh, et cetera. Uh, extensive channel capacity offers up to 1,000 channels across 10 zones, including 30 default GMRS channels and up to 970 customizable channels. It supports a wide range of frequency bands, GMRS, FM, UHF, VHF, NOAA, 
air. Uh, one frequency copy, you can hold it to another radio and it will scan the CTS as, or the DCS. Uh, you can also do that, which I found was cool. I was trying to find some of these GMRS repeaters and it didn't have the tones listed. So I just scanned for it and I found it. Now I can use those repeaters. Long distance communication. Uh, you're going to have to be on a mountain for it to do 15 mile transmit range. It's conditions, conditions. It's line of sight. It can do longer than 15 miles with the right condition. So I'm not going to say this thing can do 5, 10, or 15 miles. It's all about the conditions and line of sight. Uh, high battery, high capacity battery, a robust 2500 milliamp battery. It does have the USB C charging on the back, which is rad. Every radio should have that nowadays. Uh, GPS tracking. I'll show this up a little bit closer here in a minute. Uh, enhance your team coordination and built in GPS feature. Get longitude, to latitude, straight line distance. I'm not going to go and say this has some super rad GPS in it. It does have GPS in it, but I wouldn't go use it to navigate through the woods. I've only fooled with it for a little bit, but it looks like you can actually send your location to someone on the other end. However, it doesn't work with APRS right now that I'm aware of. So yeah, as you see, they're showing the GPS tracking for the comm. It kind of gives you a, a, another picture of it. Do it yourself repeater channel. I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more. Uh, it does have a color display, the USB-C charging, one frequency copy as we talked about, and the dual watch. All right, let's talk about the frequency range. So it's got FM 65 to 108 megahertz, which is your FM broadcast. It has air band from 108 to 136 AM. Uh, and then it's the UHF from 136 to 174. It also has... Uh, 220, it has 1.25 meters, 220 to 260 megahertz receive, 350 to 390 megahertz receive, 400 to 520 megahertz. Uh, the NOAA weather channels are built in. Uh, it's already pre-programmed with the GMRS default channels. Uh, it's got 155 different CTS tones, blah, blah, blah. That's about it. Uh, it says the antenna gain is 2 dBi the, for the short antenna. It says the longer antenna is 2.15 dBi. And I'll show you everything that's in the box here in a minute. I'll post links of everything in the description below for anyone who is interested of what's in the box. Here's what's in the box. Uh, Radio Oddity sent me a two-pack, so you have your manual here. It is in English. It is kind of finer print. I kind of needed my readers for some of this, but it's legible. And it tells you what you need to do. Uh, there's two radios in the two-pack. Whoa! Uh, it, it comes with two of these larger antennas you see already on the radio here. One for each radio. Then it also comes with two of these shorter, lower profile antennas. It does come with a programming cable. It does come with two of the charging blocks. Yes, it is USB-C charging. It uh, comes with two of the earpieces, two of the USB-C cables, two of the clips, two of the lanyards, your standard what's in the box. If this is something that you are interested in, I will post links below in the video description. Thanks for watching.